Microwaving sweetened condensed milk is the fastest way to make a caramel sauce, also known as dulce de leche. If you have tried the boiling method, then you know that it can take hours to achieve a beautiful golden brown caramel texture. So, if you don't have the time or the patience, then using the microwave will still give you a delicious dulce de leche in a fraction of the time. Just make sure to follow these steps in the video to get a deliciously gooey and real toffee-like caramel sauce. Here is how to make caramel sauce with condensed milk in the microwave. Open a can of condensed milk and pour it into a spacious microwavable bowl. Cover the bowl with a microwave splatter guard or plastic wrap, leaving a corner uncovered so that the steam can escape. Microwave it on the medium setting in one minute bursts. Check the level of caramelization after each minute. Keep microwaving the condensed milk for about eight to 10 minutes while checking on it after every minute and giving it a good mix so that the condensed milk would caramelize evenly. So, after 10 minutes of microwaving, the condensed milk should have turned into a brown, slightly grainy looking consistency. I know, it looks quite bad and unappetizing at this point, but don't worry. We will transform it into a deliciously gooey and absolutely irresistible dulce de leche in a minute. So, if you're happy with the level of caramelization, remove it from the microwave. But if you want a darker, richer caramel taste, then microwave it for another few minutes till you're happy with the level of caramelization. Now, using a handheld blender or manual mixer, blend the caramelized condensed milk till it takes on a smooth and creamy texture. Once it looks pretty smooth and there are no lumps left in it, we are ready for the final but important step. Cover the caramel sauce with plastic wrap. Make sure the plastic wrap is touching the surface of caramel so it won't form a skin on the surface when it cools. Now, place the bowl in the refrigerator for a few hours so that the caramel would cool down and take on a thicker, richer, luxuriously gooey and utterly mouthwatering texture. Check out my other video on how I made oven-baked dulce de leche to get the most authentic toffee-like caramel sauce ever. Check it out now.